Hello, Klaus here and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. It is a beautiful day outside, so why not spend it inside using DaVinci Resolve? In today's video, I'll show you how to do this 3D effect with an old photo. And it is easier to do than you think, so let's get right to that. Oh, and by the way, if you are new to this channel and want to learn DaVinci Resolve filmmaking tips and tricks and having a look at some pretty cool gear, I would uh, recommend you to subscribe for the channel. Okay, without further ado, let's get right to it. Okay, so let's get right to it doing this 3D photo effect. And uh, here we have a photo of John Wayne, one of my old time favorites. And uh, that's the photo we're going to work with. So let's just jump into Fusion. So here we are in Fusion, just going to move these things around. And in fact, we're not going to use the media in and the media out yet. So first off, we are going to put in a background and we're going to leave that at the black color. We're going to take in a, another background and we're going to change the color to a grayish, something like that, I think. And we're going to keep that color. Then we are going to drag down a merge. We're going to connect the merge into the first background. And we are going to connect the second background down to the merge. Then we're going to take a polygon. And we're going to add that into our second background. We're going to drag our background up here. And uh, let's um, go over here and start to, with the polygon selected, draw some hair shape here. And we're just going to, again, using the plus and minus to zoom in. Something like that. So now we have this shape here. And uh, in, as a matter of fact, this is what we're going to do. We're going to drag in yet another background, another merge, connect the merge to the other merge, go to the background, connect that to the merge, go into the color, and again, we're going to take this grayish color and make it a little bit more white. Say OK. We're going to add in a, another polygon. And we're going to add that into the background. Connect that over so we can see what we're doing. And in this case, we are now going to select the polygon too. We are going to draw the shape of the face. Here we are. And let's take the ears with as well. Something like that. So now we have that shape. One thing you need to do as well is to go into the soft edges for each of the polygon and just soften those out just a little bit. I'm going to do that for the next, uh, for the first one as well. I'm going to soften up that a little bit. And if we take the last merge, we can see what we have done already. So I'm just going to continue this work. I'm going to speed up the thing. Just keep in mind, the closer the feature is in the frame, the lighter it should be. And that means, for instance, the eyes, I would make those pretty dark because that is the farthest away in the photo. So let's just get this speeded up. Sorry for interrupting the video. I just quickly want to tell you that memberships are now available on this YouTube channel. If you want some great perks and some exclusive content, please consider to join the community. That's all for now. Back to the video.
So when you have all done, you should have an image like this. So there's a couple of ways we could do this. Either we could just connect everything down to our displace node, which we need. So first off, we're going to control spacebar, displace nodes. And we're going to take the displace here. We're going to add that in. I'm going to add that in between our media in and our media out. So uh, there's a couple of things we can do here as well. First off, I'm going to make the selection a little smaller. We could just connect this in, but I think it's easier just to make a group and that's control G. We're going to make in a group like that. And we have here a group with all of our things. We're going to connect that down to our displace. And with the displace node connected, we can now do an animation, in, for instance, here in the center. You can see we can move Jen Wayne a little bit here. Uh, if we go in to the beginning of our composition, we add in a keyframe. We can then go in some frames. We can go into our center and we can move them around a little bit. Like that, we can go a little further and we can move the other way here. that and if there's something for instance with the eyes something we don't like again let's go into the mode here and perhaps we're going to make these soft edges a little smaller something like that okay so we have here an animation. We can then smooth things out by clicking here and dragging the handles as well. So here we have that thing. So this is how you can do a 3D animation with a photo using Fusion and DaVinci Resolve 7. Anyway, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it would help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.